What is up, YTPC? Andrew here, AKA Bluefin Piper, coming at you from the backyard here in New Jersey. Well, what a difference a day or two makes, right? Uh, it's like uh, 12 degrees yesterday, 15 degrees yesterday, and it is just absolutely uh, balmy today. It's uh, like, I think it's like almost 30 degrees right now. Uh, not too much wind, so it is uh, beautiful out. Um, why not say it, right? When you compare it to what, what it's been like, <laughs> <laughs> so um, had to get outside and I've been outside enjoying a few bowls of tobacco and wanted to uh, fit this in before the Super Bowl begins and the craziness starts. So I hope you guys are all enjoying your weekend. For those of you guys that are planning to enjoy the Super Bowl, I hope you do. And uh, hopefully everybody uh, gets to uh, partake in some uh, good food and drink. All right. Well, guys, um, I'm going to get right down to it. As you saw from the title, this is the Briar Blues Mystery Review number three. And uh, so far, <laughs> I've been learning a lot and having a great time. And hopefully everybody's been enjoying. Uh, and uh, I think, I'm, as I mentioned before, I might be 0 for 2 as far as my guessing goes, but I'm having a great time. Um, and I think, I know uh, you guys have probably seen some of the reviews on this Mystery Review number three. Uh, already for some other folks and uh, fine. I got this one on time thankfully from the mail uh, no, no troubles with the postal service uh, I showed you the package yesterday in my video so I'm not going to show that again um, I have the, uh, the blend right here this is uh, uh, Briar Blues number three and I'm going to show you guys just uh, I don't think I'm going to do a video this time but I am going to show you guys a big blown up picture of the tobacco maybe two of them um, and right now I am smoking uh, my Meerschaum, uh, Missouri Meerschaum. Uh, actually, it's a Hacker Cobb, I should say. Um, and I've uh, smoked through, I guess, four, four or five bowls now of the tobacco. Give you guys a quick look here, although I will put up the picture in a second. Give you guys a look. See what I can show you from here. There you go. You can see this is an English blend some form of an English blend. And I'll put the pipe down for a second. And um, so uh, when you look at the tobacco, I'm gonna put the picture up now and I'll keep talking, all right? So when you look at the tobacco, um, you can, right off the bat, you can see a lot of dark notes in the tobacco, which I would assume is the Latakia. Um, and uh, you can pick up some of the lighter tobaccos, which I guess um, I would say is uh, either the Orientals or a mix of the Orientals and maybe some bright Virginias, though. Um, I think you can see in this one, I'm going to guess there's some age on it because uh, I think that maybe that some of the uh, Virginias in here have aged up a bit. Um, I'm not quite sure if I'm picking up crystals. I think maybe in the right light you pick up some crystallization, maybe some sugar there. Um, but uh, definitely, uh, definitely heavy heavy black uh, looking tobacco. So you would think a heavier Latakia tobacco. When you smell it, a tin note, you definitely pick up the, the smokiness from the Latakia. So it's not overwhelmingly smoky, but you definitely get that smokiness. And there's also a tanginess that you pick up um, from the Orientals. And that's mostly what I'm getting. It's kind of smoky tanginess. Not a lot coming through from the Virginias. Not picking up any, any kind of burly notes or anything in this. Um, not picking up any kind of sweet topping or anything. I've smoked through quite a bit, as you can see. Um, it was a fairly good sized sample. If you've seen some of the other samples, I didn't take a picture of the bag, um, but it was a good, uh, good probably like a, you know, maybe a two ounce size sample or so. And uh, yeah, not, uh, you know, kind of a mellow English blend smell, but really uh, very tangy. Um, that's what I'm getting mostly from the uh, tin note. Um, smokiness and some tanginess. Um, and all right, so, I uh, just give you some of the facts first, right? Uh, we love the facts. The, uh, the blend itself, I think moisture content was almost perfect. I mean, so it, it, it wasn't overly dry, came maybe a little bit moist. So, you know, I, I smoked it right out of the bag uh, yesterday, I had my first bowl in the morning. Uh, I was walking the dog and I smoked it in this uh, Hacker Cobb. 
and uh, really got a lot of interesting flavor out of it. And then I, um, today, I'm, or yesterday in the afternoon, I smoked it out of my kind of go-to English which, uh, pipe, which is my Peterson Iran uh, 606 pot. It's got a nice big bowl, seems good with Englishes. And then today, uh, just earlier, I smoked in my, um, my Altine mirror. And this is a nine millimeter filtered pipe. And I actually was using the charcoal, activated charcoal filter, uh, not the balsa this time. Um, and then, you know, I kind of come back full circle to the cob. And we'll talk about why in a minute. Um, so, you know, packed fine, packed well, um, burned, every single smoke burned down to a nice white ash. In fact, I think you can almost maybe see here, show you guys, kind of see I mean, a little bit here, um, but um, burned down to a nice white ash, uh, down to the bottom, almost to nothing. Uh, so it burned really well. Um, no tongue bite whatsoever, kind of typical of an English blend. Um, and I, I've, you know, trained on it a bit to see and no, no tongue bite at all. Um, did get, uh, um, let's see, what else? Yeah, a little, little bit of burn on the retrohale. Um, not at first. Um, it kind of came uh, in the, I actually didn't get much at all in this cob the first time I smoked it, which I expected because I'm, I'm going to say there's no perique in this. Um, but I did get a little bit of burn in the uh, briar. And then now smoking this again, I'm getting a little bit of burn. And I think that's probably coming um, either, you know, either from the Orientals maybe or the Virginia, but um, no, I, I don't think there's any perique in here. Um, and so here we go. Well, let me uh, light up here. All right. So I'm gonna probably keep this review fairly short and sweet, guys. Um, the first time I smoked it, and the reason I came back to this cob was because um, I really, and I'm, I'm starting to maybe find um, that my palate is, I don't know if it's clean's the right word, but the pH balance, whatever it is, is just neutral in the morning. And I seem to be getting a better flavor profile in the morning than I am now. It's almost kind of dulled down a bit now. Um, and when I smoked the, uh, the mirror, I was really surprised that um, the flavor, the flavor profile that came from that was much more muted and I didn't get as much smokiness um, from, the, from the mirror and much Latakia as I expected to get. Um, so from uh, the cob, which is what I'm going to kind of go with here, uh, and from the briar, there's definitely, you definitely get the Latakia, but it, it, when you smell the tin note, you think it's going to be a little bit stronger Latakia flavor. And actually, it's, it's more subtle Latakia. I would say the blend itself is pretty well balanced. Um, and I get, it's a sweeter Latakia. So it's not that Star of the East Flake kind of, um, you know, heavy, smoky campfire Latakia. It's that sweeter, almost I'll say like a banana flavor. Um, I like to say or marshmallowy kind of banana flavor sweetness in the Latakia. Um, a little bit of spiciness uh, as well. But the really dominant uh, flavor that I get is this kind of tanginess uh, from the Orientals. So I think this is, so right, I'm just going to say, you know, I think it's an English blend. I think it's got, definitely got Latakia in it. It definitely has Oriental Turkish in it. And I do think there's Virginias in it as well. Um, it didn't overall, didn't burn hot, but I did get a little bit of a, a heat on the bowl um, in the Meerschaum and uh, burned a little bit hotter. And I think that's the Virginias. Um, and I also wanted to say that um, it burned pretty quick actually. And if you looked at the picture pretty well, you could see it's a ribbon cut uh, style um, and burned, uh, burned down uh, fairly quickly in all my smokes. Um, so, so sweet Latakia flavor at, uh, that I was getting at first light. And then that kind of evolved into this, um, into this tanginess that kind of took over, tanginess from the Orientals. Um, and then there's the, uh, probably throughout the whole smoke, I got kind of this undertone of, of that sweet Latakia mixed with the tanginess. Um, a little bit of bready, breadiness too. Um, in the cob, um, when I was really concentrating and sipping, I could get the hints of that sweet Virginia flavor you can get. Um, but it, sorry. 
but uh, that was not the dominant flavor. Um, on the retro hail, I definitely got more of the kind of smokiness from the Latakia, and as I said, just a little bit of burn um, as well. So, uh, you know, I was doing some comparisons on this blend, and if you just look at it on the surface, now I do think it's aged, so you know that you have to take that into account. But I think on the surface, when you look at the blends, I looked at a couple, I looked at my, one of my favorite Nording Foxhound blend, because it had a similar sweet profile to it uh, from the Latakia. Um, and kind of maybe similar to like uh, a Frogmorton Cellar, but not, you don't get that, that whiskey kind of topping flavor. Um, but I did get kind of that banana almost flavor out of this blend, which was similar to me. Um, so I don't think it was one of those though. You could tell just by the look, it, it wasn't looking the same. Um, it was much darker uh, than those blends. Um, I do think it looked fairly similar to GLP's Maltese Falcon in the cut and in the kind of mix of tobaccos and the color profile. Um, I smoked Maltese Falcon yesterday, as some of you may have seen. Um, and you know, it's similar. I don't think it's the same blend, but it was, it was similar. Um, so I know we're not, Mike didn't ask us to try to pick out the blender. He said, don't do it. But, um, so who knows uh, what it is. Mike, Mike is, uh, has an evil way of definitely getting me on every, every challenge. So, but I, I had to at least try, right? So I think for me, my, my guess would be it's some form of a GLP's blend, um, or possibly, uh, since there is some age on it, it could be a McClellan bulk, like, um, you know, like a 2045 or something like that. Um, those Oriental Forward McClellan's um, blends, I've tried those and they're really like a mellow kind of all day. They're, I don't, for me, they weren't like a super shiny star McClellan blend. There's kind of a mellow all day English. Um, and that's, so that's my, what I think this kind of taste profile is, just kind of a mellow, sweet English, uh, probably a nice kind of crossover English for someone who's kind of looking for an all day smoke coming from the arrow side. I think it would be good, uh, good for them to try and I've uh, pretty much smoked through most of this sample. So after four or five bowls, um, and it's, yeah, it's a mellow, nice English blend. And I will say too, afterwards, there's a nice, you do get that Latakia kind of smokiness that lingers in your nose afterwards. And it's pleasant. I like that. Uh, I like that, um, that flavor you get afterwards where you kind of, you know, breathe through your nose and you can kind of get some of that kind of, kind of the more smoky campfire uh, leftover um, uh, flavor. So, so there you go, guys. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to wrap it up with that this time around. And thank you again, Mike at Briar Blues, for this fun challenge, keeping it going. Uh, hopefully looking forward to uh, number four, which I believe you said you're going to be doing soon. Um, so, uh, so my review, that's it. I'm gonna, sticking with it. <laughs> I'll be anxious now to go see what the other guys had to say. Um, and uh, that's it. going to wrap it up. So I hope you guys all have a great rest of your weekend. And I hope my friends uh, watching the Super Bowl enjoy. And until next time, I wish you all tight lines. Happy smokes. Take care, guys.